gas pressure. Uh, so the very first thing is uh, explain how gas pressure is produced in a closed container. Before this, we have learned that pressure pressure is how much force. Okay, how much force apply on one unit area. Okay, so it's a force per unit area. That's pressure. P equal to F over A, yeah? force per unit area. And then the so last lessons we learned that for pressure in liquid, pressure in liquid, eh? okay? So the pressure is caused by the weight of the liquid. Okay, weight is a force, eh? okay, weight is a force. So the weight of the liquid press on a surface area and this produce liquid pressure. Okay, so liquid pressure is caused by the weight of the liquid. Eh? Then how about a container? How about a container that contain gas? Okay, the container a container that contain gas. Now um, some students they think that the uh, the gas pressure they call the, the gas pressure in a container is caused by the weight of the gas, but that is not true. Okay, because the weight the weight of the gas is very small. Okay, it's very small, but the pressure that caused by the gas is very big. So it cannot be, yeah? it cannot be uh, the pressure just caused by the weight of the gas. So if it's not caused by the gas, the weight of the gas like water, eh? so then how gas pressure is produced? Yeah, how gas pressure is produced? Eh? A pressure is produced when there's a force act on an area. Okay, a force act on an area. Okay, so let's say this is the wall of a container. It's the wall of a container, and this is a gas. And according to the kinetic theories of gases, uh, kinetic theory. Okay, kinetic theory. Now, from the words we see, kinetic means movement. Eh? Kinetic means movement. So the kinetic theories of gas uh, tell us that the gas is in a constant movement means it's keep on moving and moving and moving all gases uh, the gas molecule keep on moving and moving and moving and moving okay that is what kinetic theory tell us okay kinetic theories of gases tell us uh. so all the gas are keep on moving when the gas move okay it move randomly and when it move sometimes uh, it may collide with the wall and bounce back collide with the wall and bounce back okay now let's say uh, when it collide the wall eh, the speed is 5 meter per second actually it's much 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 higher than this eh? okay the speed of the gas actually is very high eh? so let's say it, when it, it collide with the wall okay it collides on the wall the speed is 5 meter per second eh, and it bounce back it will bounce back with the same speed 5 meter per second eh? but but uh, in opposite directions eh? opposite directions so if we are talking about the velocity, yeah, then uh, the velocity. Let's say the velocity to the right is positive five. Then the velocity to the left will be negative five. Will be negative five. Uh, means that there is a velocity change. Yeah? A gas molecule collide with the wall. Uh, gas molecule collide with the wall, bounce back. There is a velocity change. Yeah? And then so when there is velocity change, then there is a force act on the wall. Okay, so always remember this, okay? Because the force uh, or force or impulsive force is equal to the change of the momentum divided by time. Okay? So V and U is the velocity. When as long as there's velocity change, uh, then there is a force produced. Uh. So when this gas molecule collide with the wall and bounce back, it will give a force. It will apply a force or it will give a force to the wall. This force per unit area is, is called the pressure. Okay, and that's how uh, gas pressure is produced. Gas pressure is produced uh, by collisions of the gas molecules on the wall and bounce back. It must bounce back, okay? So that's how uh, gas pressure is uh, produced, okay? But anyway, this one just uh, illustrations uh, and explanations. And in exam, you need to tell this in a more systematic way. And I'll give you the proposed answer. How gas pressure is produced in a closed container. Um, first, you tell that gas molecules in the container are in constant and random motion. This is very important, okay? This is an important note, sir. 
Yeah. So make sure that you write this because the, this is uh, stated in a kinetic theory. Yeah? Okay. So the gas molecule is in constant and random motions. And then you tell that as a result, the gas molecules collide on the inner wall of the container because it keeps on moving. So for sure, sometimes okay, it will collide with the wall. Eh? So as a result, the gas molecules collide on the inner walls of the container. And after colliding on the wall, the gas molecules bound off and the direction change creating a change of momentum of the molecules of the gas. Now, why we need to say the change of momentum? Because uh, force, eh? force is defined as how fast the momentum change. Eh? So when there's a change of momentum, there's a force produced. Okay? Force is how fast the momentum change, the rate of change of momentum, how fast momentum change. So, so, uh, so you need to tell that when the particles collide on the wall and bounce back, uh, it will cause a momentum change. Eh? It will cause a momentum change. The momentum change is because of the direction change, eh? change of directions. So the change of momentum produces a force on the wall eh? and the force per unit area is the pressures okay, that's exerted on the wall. So that is how gas pressure is produced. Eh? So make sure that you know how to explain this. First, tell that uh, all gas molecules are in constant and random motions. Second, tell that the molecule will collide with the wall. And when they collide with the wall and bound off, there's a momentum change and the momentum change will produce a force. And the force per unit area is the pressure exerted on the wall.